Hey guys, Chris here. So right behind me we have the 2019 Mini John Cooper Works and in today's video I'm going to give you guys a tour of this car on the exterior and on the interior. So starting off with the exterior color, this color is called Midnight Black Metallic. It's a very deep metallic black paint color and I think it fits this, the John Cooper Works version, very well. Everything is just blacked out on this car as you can see here from you know the front end, the front bumper here, the details down here on the lower bumper, the spoiler down here which is very reminiscent you know early 90s Audi and Porsche RS with the honeycomb grill there in the middle. Everything is just blacked out except for this red stripe here which means business that is you know the John Cooper works a red stripe and you can see this cool mini badge here with the mini wings and they also have these racing stripes here which have a offset color it's a brown color which just offsets you know the main uh, body color a bit and then you also have these details here almost these pinstripes here on the edge of the racing stripe this is a sticker as you can see here and then you have this hood scoop here which a bit disappointingly is fake but I think it just suits the car very well and then you also have these you know typical round mini lights which have the DRLS as rings around and then you also have an HID projector there that's what that looks like I think the front end of this car looks very cool very menacing and very purposeful walking over to the side you have these 18 inch wheels which today don't look that big on a car that is quite small actually this car is only 3.7 meters long so that is a super mini by today's standards uh, these are wrapped in 205 4018s Pirelli P7 Centurio these cool five spoke wheel designs here which are blacked out in the middle and also have these cool red brake calipers and look how huge they are they barely you know the wheels barely cover the brake calipers these are really cool and really huge brakes over to the side here we have this John Cooper works more of that badging there on the side surrounded by the indicator there blacked out mirror so you only have the only chrome detail you have are actually this chrome you know detailing around the lower part of the window and also the chrome door handles we have a small side skirt there and then these you know these fenders here are actually uh, unpainted black plastic which I think on this car looks very cool everything is just almost blacked out on this car walking over to the rear and this is where you know the mini is just reminiscent of the mini this is now the third generation since the brand's rebirth by BMW in the early 2000s and I think the rear end looks the same on all versions though this of course being more aggressive with this lower part bumper here at this rear fascia this lower diffuser here with the central exhaust pipes there that is very very cool and also another cool detail are these Union Jack rear uh, taillights which are really cool so you have a half of a Union Jack there and then you have the other half there that's just an original and really cool detail you have the mini badging there and then you have more of that John Cooper works badging you know finishing off the aggressive look of this car you have this rear deck lid spoiler which is actually split in the middle and lastly on the exterior I want to show you guys this which is the fuel filler cap which is also chrome opens up like that that's just a really cool detail so overall the exterior styling of this car you know the John Cooper works the mini looks very cool very aggressive and very purposeful I like it a lot so before we take a look at the interior I just want to show you guys the key of this mini John Cooper works that's what that looks like a very special key design but it is plastic with you know a chrome detail there but it doesn't feel very heavy it doesn't feel very expensive it's just cheap plastic but what well, that's to be expected this isn't a very expensive car you have the you know the trunk release the lock and then you have the unlock but this car has keyless go keyless entry so I can put that back in my pocket because I won't be using that anymore and you can see the mirrors are unfolded with which would usually mean the car is unlocked but that setting is not activated in this car so these stay unfolded when the car is locked or unlocked though you can you know uh, fold them via the buttons on the driver's side console but this is what the door handle looks like and then you press this button here to lock the car now it is locked you can see the mirrors don't fold but that is a setting I can set in the uh, in infotainment system put my hand behind no I forget <laughs> press that again usually on cars you put your hand behind but here you actually have to press a button which is a bit unusual but it works 
well it works flawlessly actually uh, no problems at all so you open up this is a quite you know a long door since this is just a three door this car one on this side two on the other and then you have the third door which is the hatch that's how we count doors here in Europe starting off with the driver side door soft touch plastics up top here and then you have this you know this uh, faux no that's not actually not faux that's more the soft touch plastics inside the door yeah, this is also softly padded. Though the grade of soft touch plastic isn't the nicest. It's not what you get like in a 5 series or a 7 series from BMW, but it's still nonetheless soft touch plastics and it feels very nice. This interior just feels very premium for being at this price point. And in this size of class, you have this chrome handle here, which I believe is plastic, but it does feel very solid. And this, they have done something, you know, a bit different, a bit unique here. They have the lock and unlock buttons on the the door release there, which is a bit unusual, but well, a cool design feature. You have piano black finishing here on the door, wraps around there, wraps around the speaker, and then you have it here. You have the window switches. This car only has, you know, the front door window since this is only a three door, uh, automatic up and down, and are of chrome I believe them to be plastic so how this will hold up over time I'm not quite sure chrome buttons which are made of plastic usually don't look very nice after a few years but they feel very solid and they look very nice when the car is new here and you also have the windows which is there and here you can also fold the mirrors with that button the lower part of the door is hard touch plastics but well that is to be expected in this type of class it's just very impressive that this actually has soft touch plastics this far low on the door so the door seal greets you with this john cooper works badging which is super cool super cool and well that plaque feels to be aluminum but what you see immediately when stepping into this car are the seats this is the brown leather interior and these seats are just gorgeous these sport seats are supportive they're deep and with the quilted pattern they look really cool and also you know a detail you don't see on cars well not cost costing you know six figures plus is piping so this has contrasting white piping on the seat and I think the seat design the seat color and the pattern of the leather just lifts this car up two classes from the rest of the competition is a really impressive place to sit and now it's starting to run outside so let's take a step inside show you guys the rest of the interior just gonna move my seat backwards here the seat is manually operated and you also have a manual thigh support here which is also very welcome here you have the minis three spoke steering wheel that's what that looks like so you have the cruise control buttons here on the left side this car has adaptive cruise control and unlike you know bmw's no mini are owned by bmw so they share much of you know the tech what i like about this is that you have a button to for to increasing and to decreasing the distance on the radar guided cruise control on bmws you only have one that uh, goes only one way so you have to you know you press it and it increases the distance and then it resets to the shortest distance here you have dedicated buttons to increase and decrease how you wish and that i really do like that and then on the right side you have the audio buttons here you have voice command you have your phone buttons there you have your volume up and down and then you can also uh, adjust the head up display uh the the audio uh settings on the head of display with these buttons up and down uh this has a head up display which pops up like that uh let's see if we can turn on the ignition that's really cool that start key there which uh, is red uh, just a, a toggle switch. I'll give you guys a full review on the infotainment system in a whole separate video later in the week or next week. But uh, for you guys who are watching this uh, video a few weeks old, you'll find it up there in the right corner. So this car has the head up display, uh, a type of head up display which pops up of the dashboard. Works perfectly fine. Uh, I think it works very well. Uh, it's not very large and not too intrusive. It gets the job done especially when you know the gauges down here are very minimal you have a large speedo and then you have a smallish tack on the side and you don't have too much information the driver cluster here is quite small so having things like you know your current speed uh the speed limit uh, on the road you're doing and also the navigation prompts up there is very welcome since this view here is very limited so back to the steering wheel just to finish that very nice leather 
wrapped around and then you have this way it's folded here the same way that Volvo does it on their inscription steering wheels just makes this feel very exclusive and then you have contrast stitching on the inside piano black finishing there also looks very nice and then a soft touch uh, airbag cover with the mini logo there it just feels very premium this steering wheel it feels very nice and then you have paddles here this has the six speed sport automatic so minus and then plus there you pull these paddles and then over to the side you have these round air vents and then you have another round air vent on the other side there as well though the middle vents are like hidden into the dashboard i think it looks very nice and then you have the union jack there as a trim as an interior piece on the passenger side and that actually illuminates at night which is very very cool i haven't driven this car much at night i've driven it in tunnels and that thing just lights up so that is very cool so self charge plastics up top this car has the harman kardon premium self system i'm going to give you guys a separate video about that also later in the week or next week uh, i also have a central speaker there this thing just feels very solid this soft touch plastic this is really high quality and then you have more soft touch plastics here lower down in the cabin though the glove box is hard touch plastics but that is to be expected you have the large central screen here which in typical mini fashion is round on older minis this was actually the speedo here but they moved the speeder uh, speedo and attack uh, over here so this is just the, your you know your navigation system uh and that's what that looks like uh, works very well and then you have you know analog switches here for your analog and physical switches for your climate control this has dual zone climate control climate control and then you have you know your heater buttons your hvac buttons down here seat heaters and then you have these buttons down here which are really cool so you have your toggle switch here to start the engine auto start stop off uh, on and off and then you also have your park sensors here you have traction control and then this car has the adaptive dampers so here you have different modes you have sport you have mid and then you have green down there in the lower cabin you have a 12 volt power outlet and then you also have two usb ports there you have a storage cubby there and then you have two large cup holders there here you have bmw or mini's electronic shifter works the same way as bmw's electronic shifter though it has a different look since this is a mini so you press this in here uh you, you press this button you pull it backwards two steps to go to drive two steps that way to go to reverse and then p for park drive and then over to the side gate here for sport mode which then you can also activate the paddles you have a manual handbrake on this car so i haven't you know used that in a while not a lot of cars have manual handbrakes anymore but i do like using it though i don't find an electronic handbrake down there that will look quite familiar that looks basically like a version of bmw's iDrive, which is what this infotainment system is though it does look a bit different it's a little more simple um but it sits very low in the cabin so when you use this armrest here which is very softly padded which feels very nice this is quite a reach so you have to reach your hand around there it takes a get uh, a bit getting used to but uh, it's not, you know, the best ergonomic uh, situation. Wish they would have, you know, raised this or maybe had a lower armrest. You can't adjust, yeah, well, you can't adjust this height-wise, but you have to, you know, release the parking brake and then you can, it only goes down this much. But overall, this is a very simple, uh, you know, infotainment system to use. Uh, it's very welcome. It's I, I like using it a lot. And then lastly, you have this uh, armrest here, which opens up for a phoning dock phone dock that's what that looks like that's a phone dock i don't think this car has wireless charging but you know we'll see if it does i'll put my phone there and then i'll put my foot on the brake start the car and let's see if this is charging and actually guys it is actually charging as you can see there so that's quite cool a wireless charging pad here in the center console we're just going to turn off the car so and then i'm going to get my phone out of this not the easiest uh thing to use just activated sos dialing mode there um but nonetheless it is a wireless charging pad so that is also always very welcome though not the most practical since it's hidden uh, in you know the arm rest just quickly we're going to take a look at the back seat we're just going to slide this seat forward and it started raining outside really badly so you how do you do this you pull that and then you slide the seat 
No, you don't do that. That is the wrong way. You pull this lever and then let's close the door. And then we pull this backwards. So yeah, knee room is very, very limited. Though this seat, well, I think that seat is actually set to my height or maybe somebody a bit harder than me. I'm about five foot seven, so not the tallest person. And as you can see, I, well, I barely fit behind myself. There is, you know, an indentation here in the seat back for giving you a bit more room and then you can feel that softly padded. So maybe I could sit behind somebody that's six foot, but well, nothing more than that. You have one cup holder down here, behind here, but you have this seat back here, which is, uh, instead of, you know, being hard touch plastics, is actually faux leather. Uh, it's very welcome and very nice. Everything feels very soft. You don't have a grab handle back here, and you don't have a central armrest, though you have isofix points, and you have, you know, a few speakers in the door, door there. You have a high and a mid-range speaker and you also have this large panoramic sunroof which just opens up the cabin though it has manual shades which are adjusted like that that shade there is also manual to get back out of the trunk back seat I mean you pull this and you push the seat backwards and then you reach your hand over here to open up lastly guys I'm going to show you guys the trunk which isn't very big That's what that looks like, a quite small trunk, but this is a small car, so you wouldn't expect much of a trunk on this car. Though you can, you know, fold the seats totally flat. They fold 60-40, like that. And then you have a very large trunk if you're only going to carry one passenger and be two people in the car. This is actually a quite practical car for the city. So there you go guys, that was my exterior and interior tour of this, the 2019 Mini John Cooper Works. And I do apologize about my voice, but I have a cold now, that's why it's a bit raspy and, well, I have a very dry throat of that reason. So I hope you enjoyed today's video, if you did, please drop me a thumbs up down below and for more car content, as always guys, please subscribe. See you guys later and goodbye.